Hi everybody, it's Mr. DeYoung and it's a time for another story time today. It has been a long time since I've had a chance to record a story for you today. Sorry about the, I'm sorry about the long wait. Tonight's story, as promised, is Streganona. Now, here, Chelsea, you gotta sit right, sit down. There you go, good girl. Streganona is about a, um, a it's kind of a cartoon, it's, it's kind of interesting. She's sort of like a witch, and I know that we don't believe in witches, but it's kind of a fun story to listen to because it's very make-believe, and I think you'll really enjoy it. The main character is Streganona, and there's a second main character. His name is Big Anthony. So this is the book of Streganona, another Caldecott Honor Award. It was written and illustrated by Tommy DePaula, and it says here it's an old tale. That means it's a very old make-believe story. Are you ready? Streganona. I'm pretty sure this book takes place in a country called Italy. Let's see here if we can get to the first page. Oh, here's a dedication for Franny and Fuffy. I don't know who those people are. Here we go. In a town in Calabria a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Streganona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although all the people in town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see if they had, see her if they had troubles. Even the priest and the sisters of the convent went because Streganona did have a magic touch. See all the people lining up to see if Streganona's magic touch could take care of something for them. She could cure a headache with oil and water and a hairpin. She made special potions for the girls who wanted husbands, and she was very good at getting rid of warts. But Streganona was getting old, and she needed someone to help her little house and garden. So she put up a sign in the town square. And Big Anthony, who didn't pay attention, went to see her. Now that's a very important line. Big Anthony, who didn't pay attention. Anthony, said Streganona, you must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must weed the garden and pick the vegetables. You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fetch the water. For this, I will give you three coins and a place to sleep and food to eat. Oh, grazia, said Big Anthony. That means thank you. The one thing you must never do, said Streganona, is touch the pasta pot. It is very valuable, and I don't let anybody touch it. Oh, see, si, yes, said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. Big Anthony did his work, and Streganona met with the people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and warts. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to the goat shed, and he had food to eat. One evening, when Big Anthony was milking the goat, he heard Streganona singing. Peeking in the window, he saw Streganona standing over the pasta pot. And what did she tell him never to do? And this is what Streganona sang. Bubble, bubble, pasta pot. Boil me up some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled with steaming hot pasta. Then Streganona sang, Enough, enough, pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. How wonderful, said Big Anthony. That is a magic pasta pot for sure. And Streganona called Big Anthony in for supper. 
But too bad for Big Anthony, because he didn't see Streganona blow three kisses to the magic pasta pot. And this is what happened. The next day when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot and naturally everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly, a pot that cooked all by itself. You'd better go and confess to the priests, Big Anthony, they said, such a lie. And Big Anthony was angry and that was not a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Suddenly I will get the pasta pot Someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook, and then they'll be sorry. That one day came sooner than even Big Anthony would have thought, because two days later, Streganona said to Big Anthony, Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend, Strega Amelia. Sweep the house, weed the garden, feed the goat, and milk her, and for your lunch there are some, there's some bread and cheese in the cupboard. And remember, don't touch the pasta pot. Ah, yes, yes, Streganona, said Big Anthony. But inside he was thinking, ha ha, my chance has come. As soon as Streganona was out of sight, Big Anthony went inside, pulled the pasta pot off the shelf, shelf and put it on the floor. Now let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And, just like he had heard Streganona sing, Big Anthony sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And sure enough, the pot bubbled and boiled and began to fill up with pasta. Aha, said Big Anthony, and he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain, and and shouted, everyone get forks and pla plates and platters and bowls. Pasta for all at Streganona's house. <coughs> Big Anthony had made the magic pasta pot work. Of course, everyone laughed, but ran home to get forks and plates and platters and bowls. And sure enough, when they got to Streganona's, the pasta pot was so full, it was beginning to overflow. See it right there? <coughs> Excuse me. Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped out pasta and filled the plates and platters and bowls. There was more than enough pasta for all the townspeople, including the priest and the sisters from the convent. And some people came back for two or three helpings, but the pot was never empty. When all had had their fill, Big Anthony sang, Enough, enough, my pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down, my pot of clay, until I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not blow the three kisses. He went outside, and to the applause of the crowd, Big Anthony took a bow. He was so busy listening to compliments from everyone that he didn't notice the pasta pot was still bubbling and boiling until a sister from the convent said, Oh, Big Anthony, look! And pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor of Streganona's house, and it was coming out the door. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept bubbling. He took the pot off the floor, but pasta kept on pouring from it. Big Anthony grabbed a cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But the pasta raised the cover and Big Anthony as well and spilled on the floor of Streganona's house. <laughs> Stop, yelled Big Anthony, but the pasta did not stop. And if someone hadn't grabbed poor Big Anthony, the pasta would have covered him up. The pasta had all but filled the little house. Out of the windows and through the doors came the pasta and the pot kept right on bubbling. The townspeople began to worry. Do something, Big Anthony, they shouted. 
Big Anthony sang the magic song again, but without the three kisses, it did no good. By the time the pasta was on its way down the road and all the people were running ahead to keep ahead of it. We must protect our town from the pasta, shouted the mayor. Get mattresses, tables, doors, anything to make a barricade. But that even didn't work. The pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept coming. Oh, we are lost, said the people. And the priest and the sisters of the convent began praying, the pasta will cover our town, they cried. And it certainly would have had Stregonona not come home down the road, home from her visit. She didn't have to look twice to know what had happened. <laughs> she sang the magic song and blew the three kisses. And with a sputter, the pot stopped boiling and the pasta came to a halt. Oh, grazie, thank you, thank you, Stregonona, the people cried. But then they turned on poor big Anthony. String him up, the men of the town shouted. Now wait, said Stregonona. The punishment must fit the crime. And she took a fork from a lady standing nearby and held it out to big Anthony. All right, Anthony, you wanted pasta from my magic pasta pot, Stregonona said, and I want to sleep in my little bed tonight. So, start eating. <laughs> and he did. Poor big Anthony. Look at his stomach is getting bigger. The end. That is the end of Stregonona and the Magic Pasta Pot in Big Anthony. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks. hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope that you have a good week this week, learning and studying and doing all the things that your teachers are busy keeping you doing, and, and have, a, have a great, great day. Good night, everybody.